Hi everyone, it is Mark, and I'm finally back here doing another video. <laughs> I know a lot of people like the Hoya unboxing video, so I picked out some, about 12 of the Hoyas that I'm kind of into and things that I love at the moment. And this is, this is not my whole collection. There's a lot more. I got into Hoyas when I did that Hoya unboxing, and from there, my love of Hoyas like just went through the roof. And let me tell you, don't do what I did and get a bunch of Hoyas with very little experience because I've had some casualties. I killed a few plants, uh -oh. but I think I'm a better Hoya parent now, but I'm not the best. So disclaimer, th this is a going to be a favorites video. I'm not gonna do any um, care tips. I don't think I have enough experience under my belt, my belt to do any care videos on Hoyas. I might do some in the future, but I picked out 12 Hoyas. We've got a good variety. We've got splashy Hoyas, we've got small leaf Hoyas, and we have some leaves with texture. So I've got a good range of plants. And if you are new, new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and also leave a nice comment down below. And don't be afraid to also follow me on my Instagram, at Mark grows plants. I post photos on my Instagram um, frequently, more frequent than I do on YouTube. So if you're interested in seeing updates on my plants, follow me there. So you can see that a lot of my plants, um, half of them are not trellised. Some of them are, but starting off with this one, this one, this one is a huge vine and it's got a tiny little trellis for it, but this is a Hoya No ID. That's what I'm gonna call it right now. And it's very similar to what people are calling the Hoya Wilbur Graves China. But unfortunately, I haven't had any flowers or any peduncles on this yet, so I haven't been able to confirm what it is. But you can see it's got a vine, like just like going back and forth. It's because it's gone crazy in the grow tent. A lot of this growth has occurred within the past two months. So I know I posted a video, I mean a photo on my Instagram about, I say from here, down, put down below. And from when I post that, posted that photo, and until now, it's grown one, two, three, four, five, <clears throat> five um, nodes here with leaves, and it's still gonna keep growing. I do need to put a trellis on this, but a lot of the Hoyas in my grow tent are crazy. I've got things growing up into, um, the framing and up into the, the lights and stuff. So it's good. It's crazy. Um, but it, yeah, if you haven't trellis or plants, do so because it's, it's going to encourage the leaves to start growing. Yeah, but this is a very beautiful silvery plant. Put that there. Put that in my sable blue. And the next one I have here is actually on a trellis. Um, I saw a bunch of people who had this Hoya and I was like, whoa, I really need to have this Hoya. And I got into Hoya at the peak of prices for Hoya. So I got them at really expensive prices, which I regret. So if you are wanting some of these Hoyas and a lot of these Hoyas are still out of your budget, just hold off a little bit and wait, because wait, I know that prices are going to continue to go down for some of these Hoyas. Um, just be patient. And because I think it's because a lot of people bought their plants with like a single note or, sing, or two leaf um, Hoyas and a lot of Hoyas have grown out and a lot of people are propagating and cutting their plants. So just be patient. But this one's really nice. It's got um, a lot of like te um, texture to it and a lot of kind of splash. And I also have, I brought the regular Crassipatiolata. Oh no. I brought it here, this one's trellis, like, this one grows really quickly. This is regular classic pitilata. Um, this one's actually living out in just some ambient humidity in my living room because it's just gone crazy in my grow tent and it likes the windowsill. But yeah, um, this one grows a lot slower, but this one grows fast. So, I mean, both are very nice plants. Crassi this is the splash and this is the regular form. Lovely plants. 
Just wanted to mention this, not one of my favorites, but still very, very beautiful plant. Okay. So this is one of the newer plants in my collection. I got this as a single leaf, this really, really big leaf here. And I saw it, I was like, ooh, I have to have it. And um, it had a little growth point. It just, it just started. And all of this growth is from under my care and my grow tent. And can you tell, like, look at this beautiful leaf here. Like, look at it. It's gorgeous. It's got like decent amount of splash. And I think it has, it has to, it has more room to grow because it's not fully hardened yet. And I see another leaf, leaf here just starting off. So I haven't mentioned what this is because I actually don't know what it is. I bought this as a Hoya species. And I think it's actually very similar to um, the Tangamis, Tangamis. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. So if you know what this is, uh, let me know in the comments down below. This is one of the very few plants that I have in semi-hydro. That's a lie because it has some plants in um, self-watering pots in Hoyas, in pond. So I do have that, but I don't like to change the media for a lot of the Hoyas I get because I kind of want them to grow a lot. So I don't like to disturb them when I, grab, I get them from the mail. I recommend a lot of people do that. Just wait like a few weeks for them to acclimate. And if you want to change change the media, go ahead and do so. But I don't do that. I just take the lazy route and I keep them in the media that they came in. This is my next plant. And if you watch my Hoya unboxing, if you haven't yet, go ahead and watch that. I did haul a Hoya AH074 Silver. And no, this is not the, that plant. That plant is one of the casualties of my inexperience of growing Hoyas. I repotted it way too soon and it suffered via root rot. <laughs> Hoya roots are very sensitive. And the reason I mentioned that is when I got this from an import and that's why I'm talking about this. I got this from an import and when, it, when they ship them over, they have to do phytosanitary and they have to get it inspected. So it's, it takes a toll on the plant because they're taking it from its media and then they're, I guess, dipping it into some type of solution. So the roots, for the most part, come dead already for Hoyas. So if you haven't imported or don't have experience in that, that's usually what happens because Hoyas have very fragile root systems. Um, but I haven't had any poor experiences yet. Most of my Hoyas have arrived um, in pretty good shape. And then I root them in um, moss and they're pretty good. So this is a Hoya H07 silver, very, very silvery. This next one is, I'd have to say, one of my favorites here. I'm not doing it in any special order, but this is one of my favorite plants. Oops, a little water. I just watered it. This is the Hoya species Kochang Island. Um, I don't know, I have to I have I don't have much to say about this other than that I love it. Like this is the first leaf under my care here. As you can see, it's got a lot of splash. And this is the newest leaf here, but unfortunately this plant had um, some root mealies. So I did some intensive cleaning and most of the root system was damaged from that. So it's, it's, it's recovering, it hasn't put out any new growth. And I think it stunted this leaf growth here, but this is a beautiful Hoya if you haven't had the chance to get this one, I think you should because look at just just look at that splash on this. It kind of remin it's reminiscent of like one of the trendy Hoyas right now, the Hoya Rime Rime, because it has like lime green um, splashes. It's not quite silvery, and I think this has a very similar splash to it. Unfortunately, this is a small splash leaf here. The other ones are kind of meh, but I love it. While we're talking about splash and silver. This is one of my silvery plants that I have here. And if you can't tell what this is, it's because the leaves are a lot bigger than what I have seen online. This is the um, Hoya Nova Ghost. I think it's gorgeous. It's very big. It's very silvery. And just like the Koshang Island, this one had a root mealy infestation. Uh, luckily I caught it at its early stages, but I did some intensive um, 
stuff to the root system and it kind of cut them off and it died off. I think it's still recovering, but I'm glad that this this newest leaf didn't actually like um, die off through that process. It It is hardened off now and I think it's gonna, hopefully it starts putting out new growth. And I'm gonna go into my smaller leaf ones. Cool. Something about like really small Hoyas, like small leaf Hoyas, they're like so cute. Um, so this is the Hoya pyrifolia, and it has like this triangular shape to it. But if you haven't ever touched one of these, they're very succulent, like and very thick. They look fragile. I mean, they are fragile before they harden. Um, but they're very nice. They're like they're pubescent, so they're like a little fuzzy, and. I don't know. I just like the shape and I like the size of the leaves on this one. So if you don't have this, you should get one. And this was a lot longer when I got it, but <laughs> I was moving things around in my grow tent and I kind of snapped off one of the ends. I have propagated that end in pond and it's just sitting in my grow tent. It hasn't done much, but I think it's alive and rooting. And it pushed out these two growth points after I broke it. So I guess there is like benefit to like cutting your plants. That's the Hoya pyrifolia. And the theme of small leaf plants, I love this. This is a little propagation that I have. This one's in sphagnum moss. And because it's green, because it's in my grow tent and there's a lot of light in there and it's great for algae growth. I might have to repot this soon, but it's live it's living its best life in here and I like don't want to bother it. This is the Hoya Serpent's Affinity. So it's very similar to the Hoya Serpent's, but the new leaves emerge in like a brown, maroon, purple color. And the Serpent's actually emerges just green and it hardens off to green. Um, this one comes out that brownish, maroonish, purplish color, and then it hardens off in green. But the reason why it's one of my favorites other than its small cute leaves is that it's such a quick grower. This had about two nodes on it and it's since then just kept growing. It's very low maintenance and really quick grower and thrives on neglect. <laughs> so I love this. This is probably the newest toy in my collection. And I think it might be the next one to die. <laughs> the reason why I say that is just like this leaf here, it's yellowing. Uh, the two leaves above that actually fell off when I grabbed this for this video and hopefully it doesn't die off. I might have to propagate this or something, but it has this growth point and since I got it, it threw out two more um, growth points, one, two, and then this is another growth point. So this is one plant with four growth points. Um, so it's really lovely. This is the Hoya Bromatica. And I love this because it comes off, the leaf is a rounded off shape, and then it tapers off to a point. So it's very similar like to the Polyneura, and it has, its edges is like an eyeliner almost. It's got um, purple aubergine kind of edges, which is really cool. And I think that's from the sun stress. And these grow right under my grow lights, and that's why they're they look like that, but some of the leaves come out wonky. I'm not sure, but this one has a bunch of peduncles. I don't know if you can see it. There's this one right here, the biggest one, and other every node there's another peduncle. So either it likes the grow tent or it's on the verge of dying. I don't know, <laughs> but this is a really, really cool Hoya. I love it. So this one is another Hoya that's living in sphagnum moss. It, this is an import along with the AH074. For a very long time, I couldn't find this Hoya, but now it is everywhere. So I love this so much. If you go to my friend Juan, he's on Instagram at gayplantho. <laughs> he has a GPS, this, this, he has this Hoya and it's luscious, it's big. I don't even know how long it is, but he is a size queen. It's like super long and it's super bushy and we call it grapes. Everyone calls his his plant grapes because his is sun stress. It's got it's purple and oh if I 
didn't cut this mine, it would be longer, but it doesn't, it wouldn't compete with his. I have a bunch more of propagations of this Hoya in my grow tent, and I do have one for sale on my, shameless plug, I do have one on sale on my um, Etsy page. All right, so the next mine is a Hoya Clemensorium species something, IML something. I, for the sake of me, cannot remember all the Hoya names for, there's just so many. But I love this one because it's long and veiny and it's textured. I love it. So it arrived with one, two, three, three of these leaves. And then it arrived with this one. It was about an inch long when it arrived and it survived shipment. I was very su surprised. I thought that leaf was gonna blast and fall off, but it didn't. It is a lot smaller than its previous leaves, but the, it's, it's like nice and thick. And then the leaves above that are the ones that grew under my care. So throughout, most like, like, like most hoes, it throws out a vine and it starts growing leaves. So, but this one's crazy because this leaf is still new and it hasn't hardened yet. And then there's this new leaf here and then there's three more tiny ones above that. They're all growing at the same time, which is really crazy because I, I haven't seen that. I usually, some of my hoyas just like work on one leaf and then they grow the other one and the other side doesn't grow. So, but this one just is crazy. And there's another growth point that arrived here with another leaf. I think that one's gonna blast off though, but we'll see. I, the leaves under my care are kind of less long. They're more um, rounded, but still pretty. And they're pretty close to my grow, grow lights. So this one has a sprinkle of splash on it and it is kind of sun stress. On the outside, it is um, this aubergine kind of purple color, which I really love. This one is the Hoya Nicholsoniae New Guinea Ghost, or NGG, and it's like a super silvery Hoya. Uh, if, if you see it in person, it's like a very, very light green, but yeah, it's a beautiful plant. It started putting out leaves. It took a little bit for it to do that, but now it's gone off. So the first three leaves that came out were kind of wonky. All the all the leaves are very concave, they kind of go in. But this newest leaf here is character, it's like what other people's NGGs look like. It's like long, not caved in, and it's silvery. I love it. And I don't know if you know, but it's got a nice little pattern behind it as well. So luckily I got this for below market price. I think I scored on this one. Yeah, I think that is it. That's 12 of the Hoyas that I'm loving at the moment. I have a larger, bigger Hoya collection. And so if you want to do like a Hoya collection video or another segment of my favorite Hoyas, uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I plan on doing a series of like my favorite plants for each genus. So maybe I might throw an Anthurium one, maybe a Philodendron one, and maybe Monstera. I don't know. I don't have a lot of monsteras, but I also might do some of my regular houseplants that live around in my apartment because that's where I started off with, just regular houseplants. Then I moved into the more uncommon and rare plants. So I think that's it. That is 12 of my current favorite Hoyas. And I kind of like the series. I've seen a lot of people do something like this on YouTube and it's a very easy video for me to do. It doesn't take much planning. I just go in my grow tent around my, or walk around my apartment and just pick up, pick, pick up my favorite plants. So I think I'm going to do this series with other genuses. So I've got philodendrons, anthurians, monsteras, and I might just also do one for my house plants because that's where my love of plants um, began. But I think that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great day, great week, and uh, look out for my next video. If you want more frequent content, I do post on my Instagram more frequently, which is at Mark rose plants. And that's it. Bye.